hello witches i am high priestess or Tiffinus. i'm back with another very important live pop-up broadcast and that is speaking your world speak your world as witches we know how powerful our words are we know our words can change things either for the better or for the worse we as witches know the power of our words we write spells, either they be long or short. We use words. Our words have power. Speak your world. You never say when doing a spell, I hope I get this. I hope I get that. When you write a spell, you write it as though you already have what you want. So you write a spell to get a car. You say, I am driving my brand new car or my brand new car is already in the driveway. You speak your world. You speak what you want. You don't have to go into too much detail if you don't want to, but you have to speak your world. What you, but what you want your world to be. You have to speak your world. If you say I'm broke, guess what? The god or goddess or ancestor or spirit animal or familiar that you are working alongside will say, will agree with you and say, yes, you are broke. Our words hold power. As witches, that's the first thing that you are taught if you are a member of a coven or if you are learning by yourself, you know, a solitary witch, is that our words have power and you have to speak your world. What do you want in your world? Never speak about what you don't want. Never speak about what's going on that's wrong currently in your world. You speak your world. If you always speak negatively about your world, guess what? Your world will always be negative. You know, I don't like those people who sit around, especially witches. I don't like those witches who sit around and complain about how shitty or fucked up their world is. Change the narrative. Change the narrative. Change how you are speaking about your world. If you always talk badly about your world your world will always be bad because you're giving it life you're giving it your energy you're breathing life into it you should know as a witch how powerful your words are as a witch you should know how powerful your words are that's the first thing you learn either as a solitary witch or a witch that is part of a coven is to speak your world what do you want your world to be you write that in every spell ritual has of course you speak your world and every spell ritual has a curse that you are performing you speak your world i don't care it doesn't even matter what problem no matter no matter how big you think your problem is Hikate is bigger or any other deity or god or goddess or ancestor or familiar or spirit animal that you work alongside they are bigger than your problem yes any god or goddess or ancestor or familiar or spirit animal that you are working alongside is bigger than your problem speak to them rather than speaking about your problems when you constantly speak about your problems you are giving your problems life. You're giving them strength. You're giving them energy. And they will continue to roll through your life being, being problematic. Because you are speaking into that world of despair. You are constantly speaking on your grievances. Before you do every type of spell, ritual, curse, or hex, you have to speak your world, what you want your world to be. I don't care if your house is currently burning down. Yeah, I said it. I don't care if your house is currently, right now as you are watching this live broadcast, your house is burning down. Still speak your, still speak your world. Still speak your world. 
how do you want your life to be after your house has burned down okay your house is gone but you're still here right you didn't burn down with it you're still here right you did not burn down with your house so that means you are still alive to speak your world speak what you want your world to be and then you do what i always talk about real world action to make that world a reality you still have to do real world action you can have anything you want in this world don't let anybody tell you any differently if anybody has told you differently that you can't have it all they're lying to you why are they lying to you because they they don't want you to do it they are afraid that you will succeed where they may have failed so many times. I said this before when it came to witches. What takes people six years to do will take witches, will take witches six months to do. What takes people who are not witches six years to do will take witches, witches six months to do because we work with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change. So we don't have to go through life the hard way. Life is not hard. Stop lying to yourselves. Who told you that lie? Who told you that life is hard? No, it's not. Life is what you make it. Oh, well, you know, I have some, you know, bumps in the road. You made those bumps. Did you know that? Because you spoke those bumps into your world. Oh my, that's a shock. I can't believe it. I can't believe she just said that. It's the truth. It's the truth. You spoke those bumps in the road into your world. Life is not hard. Life is what you make it. And you make it by speaking your world. You speak your life by speaking your world. You can have anything in life that you want. Life is not hard. Life is not hard. Life is hard only when you are surrounded by an asshole, when you are surrounded by a motherfucker, when you are surrounded by an idiot, by a jackass, by a dumb bitch. Get those people out of your life. I don't care if they are your mother, your father, your great-grandmother, your best friend. Hell, get your kids out your damn life if you have to. Yes, I just said that out loud. Get your kids out of your damn life if they are a problem for you. How can you say that? That's so cruel. That's so harsh. That's so mean. That's so, you know, evil, mean spirits to say. If your kids are grown... If your kids are grown and they keep shitting on you, can I talk to you witches like this? Thank you. If your kids are grown and they are constantly shitting on you, pissing on you, kick them out of your life. Why? Because they are grown. They are not part of your world. I don't care if they are your kids. I don't care. Speak your world. It is the witch's world and everybody else is privileged to be in it. It is your world and everybody else is privileged to be in it. It's a privilege. Like I said yesterday, it's a privilege to be in a witch's life. It is a privilege to be in a witch's life. You're not just um, welcome with open arms into a witch's life. You're not. It's not going to happen. It's not that kind of party. Witches don't welcome everybody into their lives. Oh, sure, come be my friend. Come talk to me. Come sit down next to me. No, 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 no. 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 Speak your world. So some of you witches today... I believe it's going to happen tonight. We'll have to sit down with a piece of paper, a pen, a, a, a pencil, a crayon, 
your own blood and write out your world and then put real world action behind it speak your world speak your world and figure out think long and hard about what needs to go and what needs to stay think long and hard about who or what can stay and who or what can go because somebody's going to go i'll tell this to a couple which is here now live that some people in your life that you may have known for years decades maybe even half a century are going to be removed from your life why because he caught a heard the conversations when you were not around so don't get depressed or sad when you start losing so-called friends because he constantly heard the conversation when you were not in their presence this is going to be happening tonight tonight on may 31st 2023 tonight on May 31st, 2023, as it must happen. Too many witches here are holding on to people, holding on to things that they don't need, that they have to get rid of. Too many witches are not living their best, magically blessed life because they have people in their lives who are speaking hatred, bigotry, jealousy, envy into their world and the witch is speaking the opposite so don't get mad when you ask Hikate to maybe reveal your enemies and then you find out that you are losing friends or so-called friends they're not your friends if you're a friend to somebody that friendship should never end if a friendship ended, that's because you two were never friends to begin with. And that's okay. What is taken from you, what leaves you, Hikate will always give you double. Or any god or goddess or deity or ancestor or familiar or spirit animal that you work alongside when you do witchcraft will give you double for what is taken away from you. I don't care what, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what or who it was that was taken from you. You will always get back double. If you are a devotee of a god or a goddess, like for me instance, I'm a devotee of Hikate. I'm her high priestess. I always get back double. I always get back double. No matter what or who is taken away, I speak my world. When I'm at my altar, I speak my world. I never mention what's going wrong. I never mention what could be improved. I don't say things at my altar or doing a spell, ritual, hex, or curse. I wish this was better. I hope this is better. I have faith that this will be better. I say instead, this is better. I speak it as though it is currently happening. I speak my world i never speak negatively about it never i don't even i would even go so far as to say don't even think negatively about the world that you are speaking of you can you should never go to your chosen god or goddess or deity or ancestor or familiar or spirit animal in doubt it's better to just off yourself rather to enter the circle with fear in your heart. That's the truth. That sounds pretty harsh, doesn't it? But it's the truth. You're better off offing yourself than entering the circle with fear in your heart. Absolutely. Our gods and goddesses and deities and ancestors and spirit animals and familiars are not meant to be feared. If you're afraid, let me tell you something. <sighs> let me tell you something. If you are afraid of your deity, that's not the deity for you. You know, you've heard Christians say that they fear God or they fear Jesus. Okay, that's cute. That's also retarded. 
Yes, I just said that out loud. It's retarded to fear of God or goddess that you are a devotee of. Why the hell are you afraid of Hikate? And you call yourself a devotee of Hikate. You can't be scared of her and then worship her at the same time. Because you're not doing things from sincerity. You're not being genuine. You're not being authentic. You're being fake and phony and hoping that she comes through for you in your times of trouble. It's retarded. It is retarded to be afraid of your chosen God, goddess, ancestor, deity, spirit, animal, or familiar. It's retarded. Can I just be that blunt with you witches? Can I just be that real with you witches and talk to you witches like this? Because this is how you need to hear it. You don't need a watered down truth. You need the real truth, truth. Okay, thank you. You have to speak your world. You never speak negativity into your world. You never do that. You never do that. And that's a big reason I know that some witches spells don't work because they speak negatively of their world. I don't care what's going on currently in your world. Okay, your life is shit. Fits it. Fits it. You can't be one of those witches who just does a spell and hope for the best. What the hell are you going to do with hope? You can't do a damn thing with hope. Can I tell it can I tell you two like this? You can't do a damn thing with hope. You have to do real world action if you call yourself a witch. If you call yourself a witch, you have to do real world action. How often have I said that nothing changes if nothing changes? If you do nothing different, it will always be the same. Always. Because you didn't do anything different. You have to do real world action if you want real world change. That's it. It can be no other way. It will not be any other way. Real world action and speaking your world are two very important keys. Two very important keys from Hikate for living a more magically blessed life. So that's what I wanted to come on here live to talk to you, which is about. I know it was kind of long. How long was this? Like 17 minutes long. And it needed to be said. Two little witches are not speaking their world. Two little witches are not speaking their world. They're not speaking the world they could have. Rather, they are speaking the world that is falling apart around them. I said this before. What happens to non-witches, what happens to people who are not witches, will not happen to the actual witch. The person who is not a witch might be going through troubled times, but the witch who is a witch will not have troubled time because they will be under the covering of the queen of witches, Hikate. What happens to them who are not witches is, to say the least, too damn bad. What happens to witches who stay under the covering of Hikate or any other god, goddess, deity, ancestor, spirit, animal, or familiar will find themselves to be prosperous as they must be if they are true to the heart a devotee of them. I'm not saying that the people who are not witches deserve what's happening to them, but they're not witches. They don't work with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change which is the only definition of witchcraft, working with the energy found in nature to bring about real significant and permanently positive change so they no longer have to go through life the hard way because life is not hard. Life is what you make it. Life is what you speak your world about. Speak your world. Speak your world. Give your energy 
to the world that you want. Give life to the energy to the world that you want. And then back it up. Back it up with your real world actions. And you will be magically blessed. And all your troubles will be eliminated. There will be no so-called bumps in the road. What the hell does that even mean, a bump in the road? It's either a stop or a acceleration. There's no such thing as a bump in the road. It's either a stop or a acceleration. There can't be no gray area. There is no gray area. It's either a go or stop. That's it. So once again, which is thank you for joining me for this live pop-up broadcast. I will leave this up for a replay. I will add this to my story. Feel free to share it on your own story or share it on any other social media platforms that you have. Get the word out that there is a high priestess here in New York that is anointed and appointed by the queen of witches, Hikate, to help witches be better witches so they no longer have to go through life the hard way when they put behind them real world action and speaking their world. So thank you, witches, and with that, I release you into the rest of your evening. Bye, everyone.